On Facebook recently there was some discussion of the real basic compiler and this allows you to create basic programs that are fast um, so you don't need to use uh, assembly language. Um, this has been created in, in Python and on the website you've got um, links to a wiki and to a forum which tells you more about the package. So this is the wiki um, it goes through installation, reserved words, syntax, tutorials and so on. And then the forum is quite active. Um, you've got uh, at the moment 900 threads with 5000 posts. So there's quite a bit of information on there and uh, quite a few people contributing actively to the forum. And then a download page where you can get the latest version of the package. And the package comes in different flavors, Windows, um, Apple, Linux. So you can choose which you want. So going into the installation page, it tells you about the different um, platforms you can install it on, such as Linux OS and Windows. And then it tells you how to test the installation once you've downloaded it. So you run a command line which is zxbc and then the name of your basic file. If you leave off the basic file, it will give you error missing input file. And then there's also a GitHub repository which has all the source code for the package. So if you want to have a look through it, you can do that. Um, and it has been created as an open source package, I believe. So people can contribute to it too as well. And then, and you can, so you can download the zip if you want. So I'm interested in the Windows version. So if I download that onto my PC, it comes down as a zip file. So just on a quick look, there's quite a bunch of files in there. So copying the folder from the zip file and, and put it onto my D drive and, and I can then look at the readme file. So it says the package is copy left by Jose Rodrigo Rosa. And then there's information about installation, documentation. And then a bit lower down, there's a quick start guide. So it tells you the usage, ZXBC, and then there's a bunch of command options that you can add. So opening up a, uh, a command line in Windows, and then just type in the ZXBC without a basic file. Gives me the usage for the command. And tells me the following arguments are required program, so I, I would need to put a program name in there. So it gives an example um, basic file, which you can create on your hard drive. So hello.bass. Just save that. So now if I run the command zxbc hello.bass, it runs and then Looking at the directory, I can see that it's created a, a bin, hello bin file, which is not exactly what I wanted. So what I actually wanted was a, a tap file. So the command line for that is dash ta capital B. So if I just run the command again with, a, with that added in, and then look at the folder again, I can see that I've now got my hello.tap file. So the next thing to do is to put it somewhere where I can see it running. So I'm going to run it in CSpect. So I run a put um, put batch file which has copied it into CSpect. And then scroll down. And you can see it's there. So it'll be a 48k program and run it and then I get the hello world. So the program's worked. This is the listing. So looking back at the, the wiki, there's a whole bunch of information in there. Uh, tells you um, 
all the different commands for the version of basic uh, it's got tutorials that you can look through and, it's, and there are also IDEs that you can use so Tommy go and spec spec next IDE are a couple of options and there's some graphics editors for creating graphics as well so there's a whole bunch of stuff around Boreo basic that you can use it says it tries to comp maintain compatibility with Sinclair Basic. So if you want more information on installation, all the, all the prerequisites, have a look at um, SpriteWorks channel. There's some uh, tutorials on there. So if I then want to try it with a bit more complicated example, there's some examples. So if I look at this snake example, and so if I copy the if I compile snake and then copy that up just the same on C spec some compiler warnings there and it's created the tap file the snake en tap file so if I push that up to C spec and then run up C spec scroll down and there it is again 48k and it gives me some instructions on how to play which keys to press press a key to start and then we're into the game so quite a simple snare program but you've got all the, the listing in the example folder so you can look through that and get some idea how it all works so this was sparked off by some conversation on Facebook talking about alternative languages to use on the next um, other than next basic or assembly language. So burial based basic is definitely an option to look at. Um, some pretty decent games have been created with it including bikers. So take a look.